Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, we're going to go for our first question this evening to uh, to Mark Weiser with the Athens paper. Hey, Owen, how's it going? I'm going to let some of the other guys ask you a lot of questions about yourself and, and fighting for a starting job. I just want to ask you a general offense question, which is there was a lot of talk about uh, getting more explosive plays. I'm curious from what you've seen in, in practice, um, how do you think that's going so far in terms of the offense being able to generate some bigger plays downfield? I think we had a good day today as far as getting more explosive. We had a couple plays and a few periods that were explosive pass plays, and um, we had a good day running the ball as well. So, you know, being explosive is just uh, it's required for good offense. So that's we're always working on that every day. Uh, next question will go to uh, Mr. Jake Rowe. Oh, and uh, you, you've been, you know, Kirby mentioned it the other day that you've just kind of been nicked up your entire career at Georgia. Uh, but it seems like now that that opportunity is there and you're getting maybe some reps that you haven't gotten the last two years, what's kind of your mindset going into that? Where do you think you've improved the most? Um, this, so during quarantine and this whole off season, I kind of, I cut about 3% of body fat. So I've just gotten a lot leaner. I think I'm moving a lot better and I got a little bit stronger as well. And I think that's really the biggest part of my game. And then I'm always working on my feet. You know, you can never have, you never, you can never get too good with your footwork being an offensive lineman. So that's kind of the biggest things I've been working on this off season. And then I also want to shout out to the, the, um, training staff, Mr. Ron and his staff have helped me a ton, getting my shoulder back and getting healthy. Uh, next question will go to the red and black, either William or Griffin fire away. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to see, uh, you know, what are some things that you're picking up from some of the older guys? And there's a lot of turnover on the line, and you kind of got an opportunity now. What are some of the things that these guys are teaching you, telling you, helping you prepare for? Are you talking about last year or just the older guys on, on the squad this year? The older guys that are on the squad this year as you kind of prepare for this season. Um, you know, Ben, I'd consider Ben. Ben's probably – He's, I just like to watch the way he practices and kind of learn from him. You know, he's experienced. He's been here four or five years, and he's played almost all of them. So I just try and learn everything I can from him in practice. And then um, Justin Schaefer as well, just the way he approaches practice and comes out every day ready to work. I can never learn to, uh, can never learn enough from those two. So I'm always just trying to watch how they practice and film and learn little tips to make me better. Uh, next we'll go to Mike Griffin. Mike, fire away. Uh, yeah, when you touched on uh, the shoulder, can, can you can you give us some background? I know last year there was a quote-unquote lower leg injury. I know you're healthy now, but, but can you give us some background on that? And then as far as, you know, the, the little tips, do you have any anecdotes or, or specific examples of things that, that you've learned that have made you a better lineman at George as far as practice techniques? Yeah, so last camp, I think it was either the first or second day of pads last last year fall camp, and I got kind of rolled up on in a run period. Had a high ankle sprain that kind of messed with me for about two or three weeks, and then once I got back, I was kind of working in behind Andrew and Isaiah during practice and stuff like that. And then um, in a practice last fall, I can't remember which game it was, but um, – I just kind of I bumped my shoulder and I felt it kind of pop out and my labrum was torn so I had to do I had to get that repaired and I had surgery last November and so I was kind of that's where I was in the sling for and I was in the sling for a couple months and then um, yeah so just had to work uh, doing rehab this spring to get that right and I'm back healthy and I feel like I'm playing pretty well right now and what was the second part of your question I'm sorry. Yeah. The second part, just, you know, some of those nuances, some of those, you know, little things, you know, you know, we're kind of kind of amateurs out here. You know, we look it looks like just a bunch of big guys bumping around out there. But what are some of the, the specifics, the little things that, that separates a, a good practice player techniques you picked up watching Ben and Justin? Um, really, it's just those first couple of steps off the ball in the run game. That's a big thing I've taken from those two is because you got to get your first two steps in the ground and get movement on the offensive line. So just watching how they do it watching the technique in the film room with Coach Luke and trying to get my steps right. I think that's really helped me in the run game with backside cutouts and whatnot. So um, that's probably one thing I've taken from those two that's really helped me improve my game. Next question will go to uh, Chip Towers for the AJC. Hey, Owen, how you doing? Good. How are you, Chip? Good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, if I, if I remember right, when you were getting recruited uh, out of uh, Oklahoma City, Sam Pittman was a big part of that. Uh, 
obviously he's moved on now. Just so what what has that uh, transition been like for you, you know, most emotionally and logistically, I guess. And uh, and then I, if I remember right, you had a knee injury then. So uh, what's it feel like just to not be dealing with an injury for one? Oh, it's great to be back this year. I feel really good right now. I feel like I'm moving as well as I have in my life on the offensive line. So that's great. And uh, as far as Coach Pittman, you know, no hard feelings. We'll see him. We'll see him pretty soon. I guess if everything goes right. Um, but it's been a smooth transition with Coach Luke. We're all we got a great room going. We got good chemistry with him, and uh, he's always just trying to fire us up to practice and get and kind of work us through practice. So he's been awesome. I like the way he coaches, and I I like everything that. How he approaches practice and how he approaches life. Thank you. Next question, we'll go to uh, Dean Leggy. Hey, uh, when I wanted to ask you, there's been a lot of transition on the offensive side of the ball for y'all. The offensive line coach changed, the offensive coordinators changed, but the one coach that's been there the entire time has been Kirby. Um, for someone who's not really played a lot so far, what's Kirby like? Um, Generally speaking, is he what he looks like? Like, I mean, does he seem normal, crazy person, passionate? Um, what's the best way to describe someone who you've you really not really played a bunch of downs yet for? He's always just trying to get the best out of everyone, and he knows how to push us. And in certain periods, we're going against the defense. He'll just, he just tries to push us to be the best that we can be because the better the line is, the better our whole team's going to be. So. He'll yell at us from time to time, but it's always just to get us it's always just to get us working and get us moving people off the ball and um which is needed for us to have a good team this year. So that's how he is. Uh, next we'll go to Anthony Dasher. Hey Owen, good to see you, man. Good to see you uh, too. What what have you uh, done to in, improve uh, improve your past pro at this level? Uh we talked to your high school coach and he was telling us uh you're built more to be a run blocker, but obviously you've you kind of improved here once you're, since you've been to Georgia. Um, the biggest thing for me was just getting my feet and my sets right because when I first got here, you know, the game is so much faster at this level. So it took a little while to get used to it, I'm not going to lie. But I feel like now it's all about working with Coach Luke and Coach Pittman when he was here, just getting my sets right. And now that my, my legs are healthy, I'm feeling good. I feel like my sets are as good as they've been. I mean, I'm, I'm always still working on them with the vertical sets and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, really just working with Coach Luke and Coach Pittman and then watching these older guys in front of me do it, it's really helped me get a lot better with that. And um, I feel like I'm doing pretty well right now with it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Next question to goes to uh, Seth Emerson. Hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to ask about Coach Pittman again. I know that Coach Pittman was close with basically everybody he recruited and coached, but did y'all have like a little bit of a even better connection because of the Oklahoma connection? And what would it be like to start or at least play a, against him the first time he's a head coach? Uh, it's going to be weird for sure since he's the one who recruited me, but, um, you know, we're more focused on what we've got here with Coach Luke, and we're all we all love playing for him, so we're not too worried about that. And um, we're just going to go out and give it our all once we play Arkansas, I mean, I, like we would do if it was any other opposing head coach. And then our final question for um, Owen will be from Brandon Sudge at the Macon Telegraph. Hey, Owen. Um, so in terms of the O-line competition, you know, and – like uh, Kirby had said that there were a couple of positions they are battling at. Like, are there any ways that you guys kind of lighten that up or have any other smaller competitions within that? Cause you said that you cut down on body weight. Um, Trey Hill and a couple others said a while back that y'all did a little weight loss competition. So how do you guys kind of, like, lighten that up and kind of keep that camaraderie while in this competition? Well, I'd say the biggest thing is that we're all competing for a job and everybody wants to play, obviously, but at the same time, we're all we're all buddies, you know, we're hanging out, we're joking in the meeting rooms when we're not locked in and stuff like that, you know, there's no really hard feelings, you know, it's the best man wins and everybody understands that and there's no, there's no animosity in our room, I don't feel like, and everyone, everyone loves everyone in our room, so we don't really have, we don't have to worry too much about 
people getting mad at each other and whatnot. You know, competition brings out the best in all of us. So the best man, the best five are going to start, no matter who that is. Thanks, Owen. Appreciate your time. Thank you.